Hello, and welcome back to Factorio. I'm in a Crastorio world with a bunch of mods installed, and we are at the Burner City stage of the game. So, it's just running around at the moment, keeping things fueled, um, trying to build up enough base resources. Whoops. Trying to build up enough base resources uh, to get bootstrapped to smelters. And we're currently doing the research for automation tech cards, which seem to be an important one. Uh, this mod pack requires stone bricks really early on. Right, we've got plenty of coal, but I'm just going to grab this. Yeah, now we've got nearly 2k of coal. That's pretty good. Um, how are we doing for everything in here? Okay, we're low on trees. Uh, the basic tech cards take wood, which is entertaining. I'm hoping later on there'll be some way to automate this, because I don't really feel like getting into an, a cycle of felling forests endlessly. Okay, let's grab some forest. I have um, these little droid things which are just a great way to get started. Okay, so I have a lot more wood now. They also have a stupid range, which is great, um, but also can be a pain because they'll go off and build things that you've blueprinted down for design purposes uh, while you're trying to get something important built elsewhere. All right, this was our little sketch of a smelter. That, is, that smelts one line of ore Reduces half a line of plate. All right, fill that up. Um, and I'm just waiting for tech card to finish researching. These things take forever. 30 second cycle. So I've got three of them. Um, so that's like a 10 second cycle, but it still takes forever. Right, what can I do in the meantime? Uh, Probably need more iron smelting since I'm low on iron. Okay. Five, six. And I have six of those already. Is that six? Yeah, it is. Where can I put that? Back to back seems fine. And then I'll fuel these all up. There we are. And yeah, so these these mine single units of ore, as you'll see there. These require 10 units of ore before they'll do a smelting cycle, and then five iron plates are produced. So that's going to be entertaining later on. Uh, various things, I think, are going to not work entirely as expected because of that. Okay. And we can fill up these little miners here. I just want these to carry on going, so... 40 stone furnaces. So I'm going to need hundreds and hundreds of stone furnaces to get our smelting lines up. Base logistics. Okay, so this is all stalled now because it needs red cards. And they need automation cores... Automation cores and blank tech cards. Blank tech cards need iron plate and copper. Okay, so let's... I don't feel like handcrafting all these things, so let's start to get it automated. Um, all right. And I'm out of arms already. All right. So this is going to make more copper coil. Copper coil is going to be an issue, isn't it? Well, can I make five of these just to get going? Ten of those? Yeah. All right. So then I'll need another assembler. 
this is going to make blank templates. Okay, and from... This also needs iron plates to work. Okay, then I want to make blank tech cards into automation tech cards. Okay. So that would require that. With an automation core. And an automation core is sticks and gears and copper plate. All right, so let's put one of those there. Um, fill it up with coal. And if I thought this through, I'd have that lined up with this box. Can I still do that? I think I can. Pull all that up. So if I want that there. Let's force it down. Copy that, just put it there. Okay, I can move this over one more. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Let's put that back in there. Okay, can I craft some more arms? Yes, I can. Then we can have one of those pointing there. I think I'm gonna need more than five arms. 10 sounds better. Okay, what else do we need in here? We need copper and we need iron. And the plates I do have do that. Okay, so what's the problem here? Oh, okay, so let's take that out, put that back. I've done this stupidly, haven't I? Okay, let's make two, let's make one more of these. I can't do that because I don't have the iron. Right, one more of those. Uh, and instead of going in there, I want it to go in there. That would mean moving this contraption one to the right, which would then bump into that. I think I'm trying to do too much. This whole thing, 
can be slid one that way. This is probably unnecessary automation. All right, and more arms. So will these feed? Yeah, they will. That's good. All right. Couple of those. All of that. All of that. Okay, these won't. Will these pass through coal? Will they do it? No, they won't. All right. So let's work this through. This is making copper cable. Then this is consuming copper, iron stick, gears. Okay. This is consuming coil and iron plate. This is not a good automation, is it? So I think we really need to wait till we have a bus to automate this stuff properly. Um, but lesson learned. All right. So, let's get that going. We can't have a bus until we have automation. Okay, and why is this not producing? Because these are mined out. All right, let's pick this up. All right, yet more arms. In fact, uh, what are arm parts made from? Since I seem to be making a lot of those. Oh, they're sticks and gears, okay. So that would be arm parts. Right, I think I'm gonna grab that as a blueprint and delete it because I'm fed up with it being built when I needed other things built. All right, and automation cores, is that what they're called? Automation core. So that's this plus copper. That's gonna be entertaining. Well, that's two of those. So an arm requires how many of those? One. This requires another one of those. Ah, this doesn't reuse burner inserters. Okay, so this uses an inserter part and an automation core. So all those burner inserters I've been making are not very useful moving forward. Right, what do we have here? A shelter, basic walls, a crusher, 
Every item inserted into the crusher will be crushed, can't be processed, we're destroyed. So it's a resource sink. Presumably there are things which are made in a crusher. Iron pickaxe, tarts, wooden floors, signs, electric drills, high performance engines. They're needed for various. Shelter. The shelter can be used to spawn point your team or just yours. Also, you can store your vid video game magazines inside when you want to take a break. It has 200 slots for storing items. Oh, and gives 120 kilowatts of power. That sounds like it's well worth having. So let's go for that early. Tool belt, yes. Log inserters. Walls, turrets. Electric mining drill. Steel. Okay. I'm probably doing these in a crazy order for this mod pack, but never mind. And how are we doing in here? Let's just fill it back up. Okay, got plenty of brick. Fill them back. I'm not doing wonderful for coal. Okay. So I think we need to start. Oh! We can make belts and things. So what do they need? Iron plate and motor. And a motor is plate and gears. All right. So let's make another one of these, another couple of these. I'm hoping these can be reprocessed. Do I want to do it up here? No, I think I want to do it down here. All right, so. Let's say this is gear. Let's say this is motor, and let's say this is belt. So this is gears. Does that look right? So is this running full time? No, it's short on yellow motors. Yellow motors can't empty fast enough. Okay. And gears can't empty fast enough. And belts can't empty fast enough. We need this to be going as fast as practical because, um, so this is delayed on gears. Okay. Let's do that just in case. Okay, I'm all for the direct insert option here to try and get things working as fast as possible. Okay. So how are we doing over here? All this appears to be running. Yep, we have some of those guys. And this is waiting on 
red cards. What's going on here? Not really sure. Seem to be moving coal in preference to red cards. All right, we're a bit low on coal. And so to make electric things, I think our next job is some kind of electrical stuff because we're going to need electric inserters. Sorry, yeah, electric arms to get the middle of our smelting column going where we can't feed in coal. Um, we're going to need some power generation. Currently, the option we have is a wind turbine. This makes 20 kilowatts, which is not a lot. Um, oh, we can make some rifle rounds and a rifle. Let's get a submachine gun and light armor. I think those are both sensible things. And let's make 10 rounds, just so we have it. Okay, so we can make the turbines, but I don't see any way to make electric poles. So what research is that? Let's have a look. Steam engine. Pipes. Electricity, this is what we need. Okay, so let's... Cancel that, then the shelter can go in afterwards. Okay, so the very next thing we need is electricity. Because uh, then we can start hooking things up. In particular, I think I saw... Hmm... Maybe I imagined it. I thought there was a bit of the crash ship that produced power. Maybe I accidentally picked it up. No, it consumes electricity, so that can go. Tidy all this up a bit. There we go, all right. This consumes... Okay, consumes. I, I thought there was a bit of the crash ship which produces power. Hmm, not sure. Okay, how are we doing over here? So, this is out of gears. Um, not the end of the world, because we're actually we still have some of these things, but I think I should go down and grab some gears. All right. So, this gear machine is not backing up. So we haven't got a buffer of gears. So I think what I'm going to do is add Cap it to two stacks. Okay, so this is waiting on iron. Was it just that I wasn't watching? Yeah, that's now out of iron, okay. So let's do more of that. Belt, All right, let's put some belt. We're actually pretty good for belt now. Get some of those, some of those. Oh, what is this? Iron beam made of iron plate. 
Okay. Iron beam. So two iron plates make one iron beam. And it's presumably used in lots of things because it's already unlocked. Stone tablets from stone brick. Rare metal. All very entertaining and mysterious. Alright, we've got some gears now. I think we're going to have to move towards some kind of bus set up pretty soon. Um, this needed gears to get going. I think we're running away with the coils. Um, right, so we don't need 200 of those. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's do that. There we are. Fill up everything I can from my inventory. Did that wrong. Um, what did I pull out? Was it the wood? No, it was the copper plate. There we are. All right. Let's get some more brick going. Okay, we're nearly done. So this sort of burner city contraption is starting to grow. Um, what's the recipe for... Okay, so this is gears, motors, iron beams. Okay, let's get these down. Um, arms, we're gonna probably have a, a list of arms here. Wind turbine. So we made a couple of these. Um, and let's put them down and have a look. Pull this up first, it's just in the way. And there it's gone. This is the damaged research pod, which we can't really make use of. So it can go. Um, it's tempting to leave all this garbage lying around, but I'm, I'm going to end up building over this area, I think. Okay, so let's put down the windmill. Okay. Can I make poles? Yes. So I'm going to make iron poles. Because the wooden ones take wood, and we use the wood for research. Okay, so how can that be... That touches them all. Okay, there's not going to be a nice tiling for this, so it's going to be a three, four, five, six, seven, eight in a square. But this produces, in total, I wish it would tell me the uh, total potential production. Wait, 20 watts each, so that's 100 watt. All right. Loaders, blah, blah, blah. Shelter, we're just training shelter. So I think what I need to do is start on a smelting line. Um, and let's start it off quite low down. Because we can always build them up later. So this is the iron one. And this will produce half a line of iron. All right, let's copy that. So that's in and in. Okay. And we'll, we'll do it the speedrunner style. Um, it uses 
less resources. Now, which side do I, I want to come from down here? There we go. Then we'll need some uh, electric arms. I think 20 might be over, I don't know, 20 maybe isn't overkill. All right, I'm crafting bars. Let's see if we can, I'm crafting all sorts of things I shouldn't be. All right, so the These middle ones should be electric, so let's just delete that out. So that's 24 of those. Um, then we'll need the inserters to push the coal in, and initially we'll use boxes. This will change later. Good. So that's the basic design. Um, we'll need power poles. So there, there. Like that. Okay, I think power poles can now go on my fast bar. Um, there. So this is, and do I want a buffer? Yeah, I think I do. Um, normally I don't bother, but because I have absolutely no idea how this is gonna play out, what I want is this with a an output priority right. Then, I think the best way to design this. So output priority that way. So it defaults you're just going straight through. Then um, let's put, pick this up, move it out of the way. Okay, so. Say we buffer like that. So then, that would unbuffer it. And then I really want to join it back into this. Okay, so let's grab the buffer itself. Okay, I'm starting to see a way. So if that was there, then we could take an underground to there. Input priority, output priority. Um, and actually the output filter. What can I filter on which would never get used? We're never gonna have fish coming through a smelter. So we'll, we'll use fish there. Okay, so that I think is our buffer. That can be put there. Great, let's reverse the default side. So that's our output. So I quite like that. Um, right, we've slightly overrun. So I'm gonna call the episode here. Um, thanks for watching. And I hope you're enjoying my uh, Crustorio playthrough as much as I am. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>